Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time Gaming video. Today we're sticking with Star Wars Armada and we're going to be painting a very iconic looking vessel which is the Lambada class shuttle. Now you've seen this in all the movies, it looks very boring on the table if you leave it as the plain plastic that FFG or you now Atomic Mass Games um, supply it in. So I'll, I'll, as you're aware I'll paint all of these little ships to get them to sort of match and fit into what I see is that fully immersive game uh, on the tabletop that we want to play as Star Wars Armada. Before we get started on that painting though, as usual, let's get that kettle on. So if you've been keeping up with the channel recently or you've been along before you'll know the first thing we want to do is give all your little ships a base coat. Now you can see here these are all uh, the rebel vessels but it's the same process. All I do is get all the vessels, get a little bit of blue tack around the base, put them onto a stick and spray them all with a Games Workshop spray called Grey Seer. And you get something that looks like this. The Lombardo Shuttle is now ready to paint. The paint's going to stick on really, really nicely. Uh, and I do recommend Grey Seer because it's a great bright paint, like white, almost a white paint um, that works really, really well with contrast paints, which is what we're doing now. We're adding that first contrast paint, which in this instance is Apothecary White because the Lombardo Shuttle is a very very light grey or white sort of a colour. Now this doesn't give you that really bright looking white which we'll come on to in a minute but it, what it does do is drop into the recesses really nicely and give you like a really light grey sort of shadow tones in all those recesses on the vessel that look fantastic. Now what I'm doing now is dry brushing a white paint over the top of that and in this instance I'm actually using Corax white from Games Workshop. Now as you can see what I did I got a little bit of tissue got a bit of paint on the brush wipe the majority on the tissue and then literally just hitting it over the top of this and you can see it's picking out all of those raised edges all around the vessel, uh, vessel itself now if you use a normal paintbrush for this obviously you're going to paint it white and that's not what we want what we want to do is just to catch all those raised areas which is why we wipe the majority off um, which means you've only got a small amount of paint on the brush which only catches those raised areas and it works really really well and really nicely shades everything and the next thing we want to do is the actual cockpit itself and we're going to be using a Games Workshop paint or another contrast paint called Black Templar now the reason I'm using the co contrast paint for this is because it drops into the recesses really nicely and because these are so detailed these miniature ships all you need to do is get a small amount of paint on your brush Dip, dip it into those sort of cockpit areas and it fills that area really nicely so it's very very simple to get a very a quick and effective sort of um, scheme and a, a very quick looking cockpit. Now the next thing I'm doing as you can see here is painting the actual engines themselves and I'm starting with a paint called Sotec Green and this is a very bright turquoisey bluey green sort of a colour and what it does is, is it's so bright it looks like it's glowing. Now to add that extra little bit of detail though what I'm going to do is get an even brighter blue called Temple Guard Blue and just touch it in the centre of these engines. Now if you've seen any of my videos before you'll know this is my sort of go-to for painting engines. And I think it looks really really good because what you get is a really light area in the centre of the engine surrounded by this sort of, not dark, not a dark area but a darker area which means you're getting that effect of a glow on the engines. Now I know these are very small and you're probably not going to see that on the table so you don't have to go into this much detail if you don't want to but I do. Now to just finish it off I've grabbed a little bit of null oil because I, I found that this it didn't shade the, around the, the, the recesses enough for me that uh, apothecary white in this instance so what I've done is grab just a very fine uh, tip brush a little bit of null oil and I'm just dropping it onto around the weapons and just on the lines on the panels where you know you've got the the difference in the heights of the vessel the main area between like the wings and the vertical stabilizer and the actual hull itself but there you have it they're, they're actually finished you can see that I've used hardly any paints to do this uh, it's a great looking paint scheme it's very very simple and really easy to get the white you can see where that white has caught the edges of the panels really really nicely the engines are glowing nicely as well 
or at least have the effect that they are. I think it looks great and I think it's going to look really, really good on the tabletop and I can't wait to get some games in. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Go and check out the channel now for more great content. There's loads of painting videos including Games Workshop, Star Wars and loads of fantasy settings such as Frostgrave and one of my favourites, Boris and Badgers. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.